Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we have got a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division problems. And we have to work out which is larger and which is smaller than. Let's write the symbols in first. Just as a reminder, this one here means less than, equal to and greater than. Okay, so let's begin with our first example. So those are our two sets of numbers. On the left hand side we have 6 minus 3 in brackets times 8. On the right hand side we have 9 minus 7 in brackets times 11. So the first thing we have to do is to work out the answers for each side. So let's do the one on the left first. We do this part first. Do the brackets first. 6 minus 3 is 3. And now we do this part here. So it's 3 times 8. What is 3 times 8? Now you should know this from your 3 times table or your 8 times table. 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, now on the right hand side. Again, do the brackets first. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then we do the next bit. 2 times 11. What is 2 times 11? It is 22. So we are now comparing, and I'll just change colors for this, 24 with 22. Which number is smaller? Is it 24 or 22? It's nice and easy. So this statement, this example, now reads 6 minus 3 in brackets times 8 is greater than 9 minus 7 in brackets times 11. You can also use terminology of open brackets and close brackets, but you can see that. Okay, so now let's move on to our second one. Okay, we've now got addition and division. Now the first thing we do is, let's solve the problems. On the left hand side we've got the brackets part first, 50 plus 50. We well, you know that double 50 is 100. And then we do the next part, which is divide by 5. What is 100 divided by 5? 100 divided by 5. Well, you should know this by now. If you need to work it out, what you do is divide, multiply 5 by 2. That gives you 10. Then, to get to 100, you have to multiply this by 10. It becomes 2 times 10. The answer is 20. We have covered this in other tutorials. So if you can't do division of larger numbers, please refer to those. Okay. And on the right-hand side, we've got 100 plus 200, that is 300. Then we do the next bit. 300 divided by 10. Oh, I wrote that a bit quickly. What is 300 divided by 10? Well, dividing by 10 is easy. Just cross out the zeros. The answer is 30. So we are now comparing 20 and... 30. Which number is smaller? The arrow is going to point to the smaller number. It is 20. So there we go. That was again nice and easy. We're just going to scroll down a little bit and have a look at one final example. Suppose this time we have other side we've got.
So now we've got addition, subtraction, and multiplication. How do we work out which number is larger and which number is smaller? Well, let's do this step by step. Look at the look at the set of numbers on the left. Eight times, and then we got seven plus two in brackets. Do the brackets part first. Seven plus two is nine, and then we do the first part. So we've got eight times nine. What is eight times nine? Now again, you should know this from your eight times table or your nine times table. Eight times nine is seventy-two. Okay. Now the set of numbers on the right. We've got 11 times, and then we've got 10 minus 3 in brackets. Do the brackets part first. 10 minus 3 is 7. And then we do the first part. We've got 11 times 7. So what is 11 times 7? Again, it's nice and easy. It is 77. So we are now comparing this 72 here with... 77 over here. So which number is smaller and which is larger? Well, 72 is smaller. So therefore the arrow points in this direction. And that is how we compare numbers with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division.